you ever seen those uh i'm not a, i'm not a real big video game player but when i do play video games every once in a while uh my favorite game is red dead redemption now before that i used to play uh grand theft auto sometimes i used to love that game about six seven years ago and then i stopped playing because it's addictive <clears throat> but then i uh I really like Red Dead Redemption. I bought it and I play it every few months. Um, sometimes I just play it to relax and chill out. But they have these little people you can interact with. They're called NPCs, non-playable characters. And you can go up to them and talk to them and they don't say much and they're not too smart. I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> well guys, uh, we have a lot of those in real life. Um, unfortunately, uh, I just got into a debate with somebody because today is January 6th, the bad day, <clears throat> you know, and, uh, January 6th is a day in infamy, you know, one of the worst days in U S history, you know, worse than nine 11, worse than Pearl Harbor, all that stuff. Uh, God rest their souls, and I'm, I'm not joking about those people. That's, that was a very serious situation, but you can hear the sarcasm in my voice. And this person basically told me why January 6th was so bad, and the reasons they told me why is because Donald Trump sent them up there to uh, hurt, uh, you know, the politicians and stuff, and they shouldn't have did that. Um, and we had a we had a fierce debate about that, and they couldn't give me any answers. And this is the point of, my, of this video I'm making. I wasn't going to make another video today, but I had to. I just got done talking to them. I actually had to calm down and usa for a few minutes. But here's the thing. Marketing is something else. Uh, all the lamestream media does is market the narrative. <clears throat> and all a narrative is, it backs up and solidifies agendas. And the marketing plan is simple. You keep repeating some, something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, uh, it becomes fact to people. People actually think something is real just because they say Donald Trump is bad, Andrew Tate's bad, Kanye West is crazy, Elon Musk is a whatever, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, terrorist, 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 terrorist. Remember that? Uh, we're going through a historic time. Everything's historic, obviously, but January 6th in particular, I'm glad we're making this video and I'm glad these patriots, these America first, these real American, these um, uh, uh, what is it called? These, uh, these Americans that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, common sense Americans, right? <laughs> Do I have common sense? <laughs> uh, these common sense Americans, these 20, 21 people, I didn't watch it today, so I don't know if it's still 20 or 21, politicians that are standing up to the machine. They're going against the uh, narrative and uh, they're going against the agenda. They don't want the same old stuff. They don't want a, a male version of and a Republican version of Nancy Pelosi. This guy, uh, Kevin McCarthy, is a moderate uh, Democrat. That's, that's what he is. And the Democrats know it. And you saw the video I put up today. And if you didn't, watch it. When CNN, MSNBC, all these news networks want Kevin McCarthy in, whew, that's, that should tell you something. Use this, what's going on right now in Congress, to get your foot in the door to be a silver ambassador, a freedom ambassador, and our, getting our country back ambassador. Um, talk to people about what's going on and educate them and sit down with them and pull up Google and ask them, you know what's going on in Congress? And they say, yeah, I saw something about that. And teach them about things that you know. <clears throat> and again, if you don't know, learn it first. And when you teach somebody something, it's once taught, twice learned. Okay? Because when you learn it once and then you teach it once, you learn it twice. Use this to get your foot in the door. All right? Teach people about what's going on with the financial system and the economic situation. Show them about, uh, you know, currencies and uh, 
you know, talk to them about keeping their monetary assets outside the system, AKA decentralized. Cause that's what a decentralized asset is. Monetary systems outside the system. Guys, any, any gun law in this country, I don't care what the gun law is. It's unconstitutional. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. It is. And I'm probably going to be banned off of YouTube here soon because I'm sick and tired of this shit, man. Excuse my French. Um, we got to rise up in a peaceful way, not going against the G boys, but standing up for what freedom is and what we deserve. We got to declare our independence, which is crazy because I thought we did that in 1776. I guess we got to do it again. We're almost 247 years old. And uh, we got to do it again. Uh, these people fought for our independence and our freedom and uh, our rights to bear arms and our rights to uh, the pursuit of happiness. And uh, it's disappointing right now, man. You know, but I want you to talk to your constituent constituents like the politicians do. <laughs> and your constituents is your coworkers, your family, your friends. Um, you gotta look at you gotta look at yourself almost as a politician, because the politicians in Congress and the senators in the Senate, they know things that you that they don't. It's the same thing with you. You know things that they don't. And it's up to you to tell your constituents what's going on. All right. So please do that. January sixth is today. Uh, it's getting dark early. It's four thirty. It's almost getting dark. So Pacific time. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, give me some ideas on what to say to people. Tell me what you're saying, what you're stacking, and uh, uh, what you're saying to get people's freedom back, all right? I'll talk to you guys soon. You have a good night, and I love each and every one of you. Peace and love.